Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this, I'm going to do the CPU throttling test in the Realme GT device after the recent beta version 2 update in this device. Yes, when just yesterday only I did receive the beta version second one, so in the Realme GT device. And let's see after this December uh, security patch update in this Realme GT, what is the CPU throttling test results we can actually get in this device. That's what I'm going to demonstrate. And this is a CPU throttling test which I got, uh, I think, one month back or maybe two weeks back which I did do the testing after the Realme UI 3.0 update as you can see the results how it is so this is the graph which we got and let's see friends today after this second update is any kind of improvement with the CPU throttling or not that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video so right now I'm not using any kind of GT mode there is no GT mode enabled and all the apps are completely clear and same settings under threads and 15 minutes always follow the same settings only and let's start the test Right now the temperature is about close to 27.6 degrees Celsius in the beginning of starting the test. Again I'll be back after some time just to check the temperatures, how much high the phone can actually reach with the temperature. So this is going to be really very interesting to see how much uh, further we can actually get the consistent results. As you can see friends right now the time is about close to 11 minutes of time. Let's see in the 11 minutes what is the overall temperature reach 39 degrees Celsius, 38.6 and you can take a look at the graph as well how the graph is actually behaving. 37 degrees on the back side, 39.2. So overall the temperatures was about close to 39 degrees Celsius, but the graph it's kind of close to 100 percentage most of the time, as you can see, not bad. And occasionally it did decrease a little bit, but that's not a huge. So I can be back after some time, maybe getting uh, close to 15 minutes of time, then we can actually discuss what's happening overall with the CPU totaling test in this device. So finally friends we got the CPU totaling test results in the Realme GT device so which scored about really great uh, CPU total up to only 92% that to only at one moment it did reach really low I think most of the time it was able to maintain really high uh, to the 100% as you can clearly see friends and maximum minimum and average and let me just show you the graph before update and is a graph which I got as you can see before the update and after the update second beta update the graph got slightly kind of, kind of better as you can see before and after how it is not bad. CPU total up to 90% before and right now it total up to only 92%. That's it friends. Thank you for watching State of More Updates. And in case if you're having any other queries, let me know in the comment section below. And meanwhile, signing off. Until then, stay tuned. Bye.